What's up, y'all? David in Atlanta for Atlanta here. Uh, I want to uh, get this out of the way. This is going to be my last talk about the uh, Philadelphia trip. I want to do a thorough recap as best as I can of my uh, experience in Philadelphia. Uh, first, I want to give some well-deserved shout-outs to Rita. Uh, she knows who she is. She assisted me for three days um, trying to get things set for my stay, and I do appreciate it. Rita, shout-out to you. I know you're watching. Uh, Rob from Chicky Pete's Restaurant. Uh, he's a Cowboys fan. He was funny as hell. So shout out to you, bro. You and your friend who was there. I forgot her name. Uh, Dante, Dimitri, and Shakota. Uh, I hope I pronounced the name right. I met them at the airport. Uh, they flew in from Atlanta also. And we had the same flight in the morning uh, back to Atlanta. And they commented on my channel. And uh, we're going to do some things this year with the Falcons and all that. Meet up at some games. So shout out to y'all three. And a lot of Eagles fans that I met. Uh, I had a blast. Um, I'm going to get to um, – this is the first time I'm recording on my laptop, so I don't know how much time I got, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. But first I want to get out to uh, the shout-outs of the Eagles video makers. Um, now, now, I, I want to clarify, don't take this the wrong way. I had the best time hanging out and partying with Desert Eagle, Nitro Freak, Eagle Fan for Life 17. Watch Desert Eagle 90s channel. Watch Nitro Freaks channel. Watch uh, Eagle Fan for Life 17 channel. Where I'm on all three of those. We did a lot of good things. Um, I was so excited to meet you three. Three guys that I've interacted with. I couldn't even tell how many years. Consistently. Uh, and it was a pleasure. Rob was very hospitable the whole time I was there. Showed me around the places. I took care, of, took care of him on some things. He took care of me on some things. I appreciate it. Vibrant kid. And, well, grown man, actually, I guess. Uh, but very smart, just an awesome person. And he took care of me while I was there since I didn't rent a car. So I much appreciate it, man. And uh, everybody sub his channel. Look forward to hanging out with him again at some point down the road. Uh, Nitro Freak, um, excellent. I know Nitro Freak took a lot of shots throughout the years. Class individual. Uh, if you watch his channel, we did some things outside, uh, I think, Bill's Bar. And funny, dude, man. He is funny. So make sure you guys check out his channel, Nitro Freak. And check out uh, Nitro and um, uh, Eagles Fan for Life 17 show, A2D Radio or A2RD Radio, something like that. The Hooligans had a blast. Desert Eagle, awesome, dude. This dude. Man, if you haven't told from his videos already, he went out of his way. I caught text him up, told him around, I think it was like 11 o'clock at night that uh, Nitro and uh, Fan for Life 17 and I were hanging out. And that sucker came all the way from an hour plus away to hang out with us. And that's what's up. I got the utmost respect for him. Uh, he, he looked out for me a lot, gave me a lot of positive advice. Check out his channel, the walking into the Eagle's Nest, whatever that was, was vicious. Man, it's classy. I had a great time. Scotty. I don't remember. I forgot his channel. Make sure you comment below. Scotty is a, is a, a big fan of a big friend of uh, uh, Desert Nitro and um, Eagle Fan for Life 17. Scotty was in a couple of videos of mine in the background and Desert and all that stuff. Funny, dude. Um, I had a great time. I met at E-Rock. E-Rock's a legend on YouTube when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles. Cop battle battled them. Many people. Uh, another thing uh, uh, Eagle Fan for Life 17 did, he made sure that I got a chance to meet up with D-Rock. I hit him up on Twitter. He, he got he got back with me. Just memories I'll cherish forever. But make no mistake about it. Again, no disrespect. But the thrill of a lifetime was meeting EDP 445, Eat That Pussy 445. He and I have interacted many times throughout the years. I went up to him. Uh, before we, we hit the camera and after the camera talked a little bit and I looked at him, I told him I was proud of him. I told him I was sorry uh, for the battles that we had, but the man is humble. He is so nice. Uh, he went on my, my, my channel, Eagle Fan for Life 17 channel, probably many others. And a lot of you guys, you know, want to bash him and jump all over him. You guys do that because y'all aren't even close a third to his level, kind of like you do me. None of y'all have made EDP but me, but Eagle Fan for Life 17, but Nitro Freak, 
Desert Eagle, Scotty, none of y'all. And that kills you. I've never mentioned EDP in my title until I will put him in this title. I consider him a friend. And you guys just can't stomach it. You guys cannot stomach the fact that because all you guys are always all over him trying to get his attention. I've never asked for anything from EDP. But meeting him, walking up on him, seeing him for the first time brought a smile to my face. I don't know EDP how it was for him. You know, we texted later, but I don't know how it was for him. But I know when I saw him, aside from winning the Super Bowl, my YouTube uh, time was complete because I have followed that cat since I started. And I've seen his channel grow, and he was already pretty good even when I started seeing him. But watching all the videos from EDP throughout the years, and shout out to PCG, P. Carroll's Gum, good friends of ours, all, all three of us. Now all four or five of us, she's getting to know a lot of my people. But uh, meeting him was was the, the best feeling. I was probably more excited to see him probably than he was to see me. And so, yeah, uh, I also want to so EDP. Thank you, man, brother. Uh, I do consider you a friend and I, I can't wait uh, till the next time we uh, get together. Um, just. An unbelievable experience in Philly. I mean, we lost the game, sure, but being in, in the Lincoln Financial Fields uh, kickoff classic, even though it drew really long because of the rain delay, and experiencing what I experienced from the harassment to the Eagles fans, you know, backing me to I want to give a shout out to Spencer and his dad. Uh, had a blast, man. I, I can't put into words how how happy and how much gratitude I have for the hospitality I showed in Philly. Nobody thought I was going to go there. You all thought I was going to get my ass kicked, but I read the comments in Desert Eagles chat, you know, still talking smack, but all of y'all have, and y'all, y'all shown some respect, you know, JP, much respect. I appreciate the video. Uh, God damn it. Even eight camel toes said something nice about me. Um, because when we do what we do, um, the ultimate goal is to have fun. And and I, I can't believe that some of you guys just cannot see it for what it is. And, you know, that's your own problem, not mine. But, you know, no matter all any of the negatives that come my way, I'm always going to – because you notice I, I don't listen to y'all. I will do whatever I want. And I, I, I wouldn't have changed anything. Yeah. So the flights was awesome to and from. I want to give a shout out to Joe, uh, my friend here in Atlanta. Uh, I met so many people. I mean, and what y'all don't know is that I met about 10 people off of YouTube, Eagles fans, who reckon, just pulled me aside as I was walking throughout the whole thing, and they knew me from my Slitter channel, Sports Live ATL, and some of them knew my new channel. Has that happened to any of y'all? No. You want to know why? Because you're not me, number one, and you don't know how to branch out because trash talking only goes so far, y'all. You have to have something to deliver sports wise and if you don't and you stick to that nobody's gonna want to get a hold of you because they don't respect that um meet up with dude at uh, just at this convenience store just came out and knew me i got a lot of pictures with eagles fans they, they wanted to take pictures with me because they knew who i was i felt awesome i felt you know i felt like my time on youtube was worth it you know and uh, Considering the fact I never thought I would ever be in Philadelphia, that meant something. I never thought I'd be in New Orleans. That meant something. You know, I mean, I could ramble on for a long time. I got so much I could say, but I don't want to drag everybody on, whatever. But I just want to say I had an awesome time in Philadelphia. I'm sorry that my team couldn't come up with a win. You can tell I'm still hoarse. Uh, those videos that we did on all of our channels, I've been watching them a lot. That's a memory that will never ever be taken away from me ever it was an experience to behold and every single one of y'all who do youtube videos who have any kind of backing in this would love to, to have done what i've done and if y'all would take the time to get to know me instead of just talking so much shit about me you would have a great time i promise you but i'm not going to beg any of y'all because you know i'm 
you know, it is what it is. I plan on going to the Panther game, hopefully, Saints game, as many Falcon games as I can and make a lot of other good memories. But Philadelphia, Bitterbirds, Adrian, I'm probably going to miss a few. I hope not. Jay Steiner, uh, uh, PE Freak, some of y'all might know him from, from years ago. I met him, saw the flag burning, um, went to Xfinity Live, saw Citizens Bank Ballpark. It's just an awesome feeling. I, I, I can't describe it. You know, I just wish we would have left with the win, but I will live with the win. But uh, memories I will take with me for the rest of my life. And it makes me proud to, uh, to have done what I've done. That's the, the, the happiest thing that I've ever done is travel to New Orleans and travel to Philadelphia. So um, I guess that would be it. And uh, David in Atlanta. And um, thank you, Philadelphia. Good luck the rest of the way. And hopefully we'll meet up again in the playoffs. But this time, hopefully it's in the bins. And I'm out.